Hi ladies, today I'm doing a long overdue eyebrow tutorial. I promised my mother-in-law that I would do one for her and I have been tardy. So uh, I'm gonna do that for you guys today. I'm gonna show you a couple different options that I use so that you um, can kind of see the different, the different ways that you can do them uh, depending on what you like. So I'll show you guys. Now, you know we have the the brow kits that you can buy. You can buy separately. You can just buy your pencil, buy your pencil, or you can just buy your gel, or you can save some money and bundle them together. We have them in light, medium, and dark. Um, you can see here. This one's the medium. I don't know if it's really focusing there. And this one's the dark. You can kind of see just on there. I don't have the light in my hands, but it's it's a little bit lighter. Um, even a lot of my blonde friends still use the medium one. So. Second option, we have our precision pencils that you can use. This one is prim color there. I drew on my hand a couple of the different colors. This is the first one you see there is prim. The second one is an old one I used to use. The third one is the pencil in dark with it comes in the brow kit and then that one is medium. So you see prim and medium are actually quite quite similar. So I'm going to use I'm gonna go with prim and then I'm gonna finish it with the the gel so I'm gonna show you guys how to how I draw mine in and I was taught this by a friend of mine who's also a makeup artist because I was not good at doing them before so she taught me exactly what it was that she does to get the shape that she that she likes and those bigger eyebrows are coming back in so I'll kind of give you an idea of that and then you can change it based on the shape of your face you know because not not all girls can have big bold eyebrows. Some, depending on face shape, want to have smaller, thinner, fatter, whatever. So I'm gonna look in my mirror here so you can see, but I'm gonna show you how I draw them out first and then I'll show you how I fill in. So we'll start here. So, first step is literally just a straight line and then just a little tail. So I'll do kind of equal on both sides and then you'll be able to see. That way you know that you're getting, you know, similar shapes. Uh, my best friend kind of always says, or she told me one time, they're sisters, they're not twins. So your eyebrows, you don't want them to be identical. You don't want to spend hours trying to get them identical. It'll take you forever. So. As you can see, line, and then just a little tail. And then what I like to do, I'll go back on this side here, just little tiny strokes until you get your desired kind of thickness that you want right here. And then I draw another fairly straight line up here so you can get the arch that you like. Um, not everybody has perfect eyebrows, so you kind of have to fill in what what's missing. So if you want a bigger arch, you're just going to do a higher angled line up here, and it's going to look silly to start. I promise you, it's not going to look it's not going to look good at all. Um, but once you start blending in and filling everything in, that's when you start to when they start to take shape a bit better. then figure your arch out. See, and like they're not even at all right now. So then what I'm gonna start doing, and you can do this with the, the brow pencils as well, same sort of thing, is I just do little mini strokes just to give a bit more color. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna take my angled brush, and this is when I start to blend them in once you've got that shape you like. And I use the angled brush regardless of which pencil I'm using. And with this too, you can actually bring them out a little bit further this way too, just by kind of dragging the color. And I mean, you can always add some more if you like, if you're not happy with it. Some like a bit of a longer tail, 
kind of on the end. Others like it shorter. So again, it's all just preference. I just wanted to show you how it is that I get the shape that I do. Okay, so you can kind of see. See how they don't look identical, like at all? I mean, I might be able to work a little bit more on this one. And I like mine quite square um, on the ends, but you can do rounded as well. Just blend a little bit more. Okay, so then at this point what I do is I'm gonna take my gel. I'll do it in the medium, that's the dark. So in the medium, and it goes just like your like your fiber mascara. You're just, it's just little fibers. You're just adding on to fill in any extra spots that don't have as many, many hairs in them. And you guys might, like I mean, might change my hair color more often than most, I guess. So the colors I use always change and even with the three, just the three different shades that we have in the in the brow gel, I find that all three just work. I don't have to rely on something else um, to get the good match. So, okay, so there you see it. Those are my brows. What are they? It took me five minutes. So, and I'm talking the whole time. So, practice makes perfect. They're not going to look good the first time. They may not look good the second time, but you know, you are going to get much better at it. So, um, this video dedicated to my mother-in-law. There you go for eyebrows. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Otherwise, have a good day.